Hello, good evening, everyone. Yes. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, all of you, to today's session. Hi, good evening, teacher. Miguel, hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. I am still driving. At all home. right. All right. Yeah, that's okay. in, a, in a couple of minutes, I will be arriving at home. Okay, thank you for letting me know about that. I'll be waiting for you, okay. all right? Javier, Rafael, Miley, and Stephanie. Guys, thank you for joining today's session. It's Monday. Welcome to today's session. We are about to start a new week. And we are ending the, 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 the third week today. Tell me, how are you today? How's everything? How's everything today? Hello? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Marilyn. How are you, Marilyn? I'm so fine. Thank you for asking. No problem. You're welcome. You're welcome. How how was your day or uh, how was your weekend? Mm, so my weekend, I think, was uh, fantastic because you know, I can work a little with my baby. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Did you did you do some did you do something interesting during the weekend? Yeah, um so that I visited one park in Merliot. All right. A park. El Principito. Yeah. That's the park. Yeah. All right. With your family? With my sister and my son. All right, with your sister and your son. That's good. That's good. Yes. All right. Did you go to work today? Yeah, I worked today, but um, I think that it was good because in in today don't pay, but uh, I think that tomorrow I. I will pay uh, to to the client, but tomorrow, today, no. All right, I understand, I understand. Well, that's good, that's good, Marilyn, excellent, excellent. So you are, you are walking more now. Yeah, now, but um, I don't have a, what do you say, dolor? Pain. Pain, yeah. I don't have pain in the man in my you, leg. You don't have pain? Well, no. You, you don't feel any pain? Today, no. Today, oh, okay. no, because and I I walk but a little. All right. And which which ligament did you said it was? How? Which ligament did you say did you say it was? Okay, that is a the I no sé cómo explicarle. Espérenme. Aquí creo que tengo. Aquí dice, pero se lo voy a decir por Yes, yes, it's okay. <laughs> we have plenty of time, don't worry. Okay. Eh, es el Dice que hago una ruptura intersticial del ligamento cruzado anterior. All right, all right, I understand. I get it now. Uh, y yeah, uh, el que causa el, do el dolor es, el, es un derrame articular que está en la plica sinovial lateral. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay, I understand that, that you have your problem with, you, with your ligaments, but. I understand, I understand that. Mm -hmm. wow. Y el otro es un, un quiste. 
femoral distal. Mm -hmm. I understand, mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. But uh, it, it stops hurting in a couple of days. It hurts at the beginning, it hurts a lot. But then day by day, the, the pain goes less. The pain goes less because now my my ligament is torn. My ligament in my on my uh, left knee, it's been torn uh, for almost no two years already. Two years, and uh, I feel no pain. I feel no pain. Nothing. the pro The problem is that I cannot run. I cannot okay. do a physical work or physical or, or practice sports because if I do that, I I'm going to I'm going to uh uh damage it yes. Como yeah. que el daño es más severo, creo. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, yes, mm -hmm. yes. In my case, uh, at the beginning, well, the first time I I felt pain on my knee, uh, it was playing. I was playing soccer, and I fell. I fell. Uh, I fell down, and it hurt a lot. So I stopped playing. But my problem was that I played the next week. The okay. next week, and I uh, hurt my knee again a second time. Then I waited two weeks, two weeks, and then I played after two weeks, and I hurt it again, and that kept going, and I waited two months, and after two months, I played soccer again, and then the, the fourth time, after the fourth time, it was over. I could not continue playing anymore. So now mm -hmm. I'm just, I cannot play or, or get, I cannot do physical work. I cannot run. So I cannot do anything very much. It's, okay. It ah, is sad. Me imagino que fue por como, como I'm sorry? por forzar, como por forzar eh, en ese momento, verdad? Eh, me imagino que fue más el daño por, Yes. Tenía dolor y, y siempre seguía jugando. yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. I think I think I think I didn't tear I didn't tear my ligament the first time. I didn't, I didn't tear. It was good. It was damaged, okay. damaged but not that not torn. But I continue, I continue and until I torn it. I destroyed it. Okay. But consequences, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. There's nothing we can do about that. It's just I feel I feel sorry yeah, that, it's, it's, I, that it's, I can see playing, because, but sorry. Yeah, uh, it's a little complicated because um, you can let the uh, um, um, can't uh, play, can't uh, walk uh, for a long time, can't um Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Okay, go upstairs. Go upstairs. And run. And do exercise, obviously. And yeah, so, nothing. nothing. Only walk, but a little. Well, I can walk. I can walk normally. In the run, I cannot run. I can jog. Job, okay. but I cannot really run fast. No, impossible. No, in my case, I can only walk, but not for a long time. Not for a long time. I understand that. Yeah. Wow. It is difficult. It is difficult, but we have to live live with it. <laughs> there is no other. There's no other way. We just have to live with it. Yes. But maybe in this coming year, I'm going to start a process with the insurance company. And uh, I might get a surgery soon to try to fix it. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. It is possible. I don't know. Because the surgery, yeah, if, I pay, if I pay for the surgery, it is expensive. It is very expensive. Okay. Wow. Well. So in my case, yeah, the surgery is a possible, but um, my next date is a uh, the other year. Yeah, of course, the other year, mm -hmm. the other year, yes, yes. 
in my case, uh, uh, like I said, I tried uh, to begin with the process this year, but I had some uh, inconvenience. So I will start over next year, maybe in February, I'm going to start the process again to see what what happens. Yes. But in a, in a, I mean, a private hospital. In my case, no, with the insurance company. Ah, okay. Yes, with the insurance company. Okay. And let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's in my case, in a, um, a part, in was a, a, um, a clinic private. A private clinic. Uh huh. A private yeah. clinic, yes. Uh huh. In a private clinic, and the other part in with the is. Yes, with the insurance company. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is uh, that the exams are very expensive. You have to wait uh, a few months, maybe three or four months to get the appointments and all of it. Yes, it's kind of difficult. My kids, yeah. I, I, had a, I had an appointment with the orthopedist. Uh, like after four months, I had to wait four months for this person to see me. That's too much. That's too much. Okay, yeah, and my, my orthopedic is, um, so, um, was, um, consulted with my orthopedic in a private, in a private, um, clinic, mm -hmm. is the same orthopedic in the hospital, in the general hospital, that insurance. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that's my, my plan to, to, to do the exams at, uh, private clinics. And then I will uh, take the exams to the to the insurance company to see if they approve the surgery or not. Yeah. All right, Marilyn. I wish you the best, Marilyn. <laughs> okay. I wish you the Thank best. You. I hope I hope you get better day by day. You can walk more, and you can do more things. You can feel more comfortable every day. I have been through that situation a couple of times already. So I wish you the best. I know how it feels. I know how difficult it is, how sad you sometimes feel. And uh, I know how painful <laughs> it is and everything. I know. <laughs> thank you. All right. All right. Now that more people have joined, thank you guys for joining. I see more of you now. I see uh, Mario, I see Mauricio, Raul, Eric. Katya and uh, Stephanie, how are you guys? How's everything today? How do you feel? Today is Monday, the best day of the week. Are you guys there? Yes, teacher. I think that I'm fine. <laughs> Trying to survive the yes. start of the week. Okay. It says listener right before your name. Uh, yeah, uh, for this moment, maybe 15 minutes, I hope. Okay. I will arrive into my home now. <laughs> You're not home right now? No, but I'm arriving. All right. Are you driving or taking the bus? Uh, no. Got out to the car. Oh, but okay. the car is not in front of my house. <laughs> Okay, okay, I understand. So I, understand. I need to walk. Yeah, thank you. But I, right. I think I'm okay. All right, all right. Let me know when you get home, okay? Thank you. Okay, good. Very good, very good. Let's see, Eric, how are you, Eric? Are you there? How's everything today? It's Monday, the best day of the week. For sure, I'm here, but, but I'm, I'm having my, din my, my dinner. You're having dinner right now? Excellent. For sure. Enjoy. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. And drink some coffee. <laughs> Crazy water. Do you prefer water? Okay, I, I have water with me right now, so no problem, yes. C yeah. Crazy water. <laughs> no, no, no. That's for Friday. No, not for today. Today is Monday. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it okay, easy. Okay. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Excellent. Enjoy your dinner, and uh, well, just do that. 
Let me see, Mauricio. Are you there, Mauricio? How's everything? Not there. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. Were you speaking oh, okay. or talking? I have the micro. Yes, I have the microphone. I had the microphone microphone up. Well, oh, all right. All right. <clears throat> Um, I I mentioned that uh, I'm feel good now. I'm I'm probably a little sick now, but I I got three medical leave um for the last week, and today and tomorrow are my day off. So I I I got the rest for five days. In five uh, days from today. Yes. Yes. Three days medical leave plus my two days off. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. You're, you're having vacation. <laughs> yes, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel good with zero stress and, and just a little thick about my throat and only that. And, and I, 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 take a, I took advantage to do different things that I have to do in my life. Got to the bank go to the the go to the car washing or 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 mechanic to do different things in my car um and another things and only that i feel good and um now i remember that i didn't do the 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 plane for i will worry on it the what sorry i didn't work in, in the uh, i didn't work in the plane form Oh, the platform. Oh, yes. English corporativa, so I'm going to work on that now. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we're going to have some review later on. I'm going to be helping you with the exercises. Yes, don't worry. Okay. In that way, okay. you will I, see I didn't how, do how anything. We... I didn't have time. Cause... Understand. Okay, but, but I will do that. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Mauricio, for joining. It's it's good to see to see you and to have you here again. Diego, how's everything, Diego? How are you today? Hi, teacher. How's everything? I, everything is it's fine. I finished today my uh, my cycle, my semester in the university. Oh, your, your semester, right? Right. All right. Yes. Really today. And finally, I am on vacation. Today, really? Yes, yes, sir. When I was studying the university, it was 2017, 16. Well, like six years ago. I used to uh, finish my classes on the, like, by the 11, I mean, December 11 or 12. And today is the 20th. That's way too yes. early. Yes, but really we stopped. We start again on uh, January 11. In January, all right. Okay, okay that's the thing. Yes. Well, in, in, the, in, in the second, in the second uh, week, all practically. Right. Which university no. is it? Don Bosco. All right, all right, Don Bosco. Okay, very good, very good. That's awesome. Did you study at uh, National? No, no, it's a. Uh... This new university is not really famous. The one that I, that is here in Sulutan is called Gerardo Barrios. Gerardo Barrios. Yes, sí. this is the one. Yes, I, I, I know it. Uh, I have a, a an uncle that uh, started there. All right, that's good. Did he finish already? Yes, yeah, um, he's a lawyer. All right, he's a lawyer. That's good, that's good, yes. Yeah, I finished in 2017, 16, 17, something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember right now. Yeah, but like, uh, you, are, you, are, you are young, right? How old are you? I'm 31, yes. Not uh, you that young, look, man. I'm 31. But you look younger. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you for saying that, yes. I thought that you, you are... Around twenty six or twenty seven. Yeah, no, thirty one. Uh, I will be turning turning uh thirty two in seven months, six or seven months. 
Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. How was your Monday? Uh, do you work today? Me? Yes. Yes, teacher. I I pido permiso. I ask, ask for permission. For permission in in the in the work. In my oh. yes, in my job, in my job, sir. All right, all right, from work. Okay, oh, eh? that's good. And that's good. Yes, around two, three hours, uh, one hour to to take to the university. To go to the university, yes. Yeah, to go. Sorry, to go, and two hours of class. All right, all right, two hours of class. That's that's good. That's good. Very good. Oh, you know, I'm glad that you finished your semester today. It's time to enjoy vacation. I mean, you're going to continue working, but uh, at least you, you're not going to have the pressure from the university, the classes, the, the, the subjects, the homework and everything, all of it. You're going to have you're not going to have that pressure for a couple of for a few days, a few weeks. I'm glad you, you finished with it. Yes. All right. Let me see. Thank you. Uh, yes, no problem. You got Luis Mauricio, Emerson, Mario. Are you guys here? Available now? Let me know. Of course, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening, Fabricio. Emerson. Very good, teacher. Good evening. Are you home already? Yeah, already home. All right. Good. Good to know. Good to know. How do you feel today? Well, it was a tired Monday, but at the end of the day, everything was fine at work. All right, everything was fine at work. All right, tiring. Tiring, all right? A little tired. Mm -hmm. Like, let me show you. I oh, am tiring. tired. The person, the person is tired. I mean, the person or the animal, those two are, are, are tired. But something, for example, uh, a day, uh, a trip, a day, a uh, 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 work tiring. day, all of it is, is tiring, okay? For example, I can say the the walk was tiring. La caminata estuvo cansada, right? The walk was tiring. My day, my day was tiring, right? Tired is the person. The person or maybe an animal because they also feel, yes? So, yes. All right, but all right. things are... Things are tiring. Things are tiring. Things are tiring. For example, another example, like when you feel uh, emotion or excitement, you say, I am excited, right? Yes? Yeah. Excited. I am excited. Or animals also get excited. So you can say the dog is excited. I am excited. But to say that something like a movie, a song, a video, an anime or whatever or anything, an event, for example, in that case, in that case, it's not exciting. In that case, it's exciting. With ing, for example, the the play was exciting. Mm. Wait, like the action. Exciting, yes. The play was exciting. La obra estuvo emocionante, right? That's what it is. The thing is, uh, uh, excited, emocionado, exciting, emocionante. That's that is the difference. Like oh, okay, this. thank you. So basically, basically, in, in uh, when you're when you're using this this type of adjectives because they are adjectives, the the adjective that ends in ed is the one that you use for the persons, and the one that that you use with ing is for things. Not always, not mm -hmm. always. There are some exceptions, but that's how they uh, commonly work. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. How is your house? Everything, how is you? How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. How's everything today? Oh, it was okay. My day, but it is difficult for me uh to get home because uh, um at the end of the work i mean uh because of the distance and even more when 
I'm traveling by bus. Mm -hmm. I understand. Besides, it's a it's a long distance. Uh, I have to ride every day. I understand. I understand, but that is difficult, right? That's difficult. Yes, that's right. But I'm here. All right, and that's good to know. Good to know you're here. Yes, thank you, thank you. We well, haven't heard from Mario. Mario, you there, Mario? How's everything? I'm fine. You're fine. All right. How was your day? Your weekend? Your Monday? Oh, uh, it's very very tired. Like, very tiring. Yes. I'm sorry. Why? What happened? Uh, mucho trabajo. A lot of work. Uh, yes, como le digo, este, eh, bueno, en español, eh, como son las matrículas en todas las instituciones eh, educativas, yes. entonces eh, mi departamento fue un caos eh, haciendo ese, esa labor de, de entregar las partidas de nacimiento. Entonces, muy, muy, muy. I understand. I understand. Yes, in my case, I'm not going. I have not. Uh, with, in my school, we have not begun with the enrollment yet. Tomorrow we're gonna have the closure. Tomorrow we're gonna have the closure, and uh, that enrollment is going to begin next week because we have a uh, two pending graduations, so on Wednesday and uh, Friday, I think. So we're going to start with the enrollment process next next week. Just four days, I think. Only four days from Monday to Thursday. Because on Thursday, we're done. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining. I know some of you are as listeners today. And uh, I understand. I understand. Uh, let me tell you that today... Well, let me take attendance and then I will give you some, some uh, instructions. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva. Here, teacher. Thank you. Danke. Danke, danke. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Let me see. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present, coach. Thank you, Julissa Amilet Villata Villata. I haven't seen Julissa. Let me see if I is she's here. No. Okay. Let me see. Believe me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I heard you, Stephanie. Don't worry. Let me see. Let me change this. Uh, Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Please, Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú Garcia. Present. Thank you, Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Yes, thank you, Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Thanks, thanks. And uh, let me see, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Raul Elgardo Muñoz de C. Okay, and the last one is Ronald, but Ronald is not here. Thank you, Raul. I don't see Ronald over here. Uh, listen to this. Um, I was checking your progress on the platform. Some of you have not worked on it yet. And uh, let me tell you that today is the last day. Well, in a couple of hours will be the last uh, chance to work on it. And uh, another thing I have to tell you is that over here, 
uh, where, where I keep the records, I mean, that's it, the attendance, the attendance, uh, the grades and everything. I have some of you that are, how can I tell you this? In, uh, in danger, <laughs> in danger, because you still, it's the, today is the 15th class. Listen to that, 15th. It means today we're ending the third week and some of you have not reached, have not reached the 50% of attendance. Some of you have already reached it. For example, let me tell you, Stephanie, she has the 51%. Emerson, Eric, 50%. Uh, Katya, 50, 54%. And uh, McGill, 55 And uh, there are some of you that are very low with the percentage. This means that these, these coming days or these coming sessions, I suggest or I advise you guys not to miss any classes or not to miss any minute if you want to continue with the, with the other uh, modules. Remember that there are three, three uh, requirements to continue with the other level or with the other module. The requirements are the activities on the platform at least 80%. The attendance at least 80%, if I'm not mistaken. And the other one is the survey that we take at the end of the module or the last day of the module. We we do a survey with everybody. So that those are the three main requirements. So you need to deliver them. If you don't, you will have uh, or you will lose the chance to continue with the next module. So guys need to increase this, this uh, percentage. There are some of you with 37%. There are some of you with 42, 29. Just think about this one, 29, very, very low percentage. You, ha you have to increase it, all right? You have to increase it. For the ones that have reached 50% already, thank you, thank you. Remember the minimum, the minimum is 80%. You gotta continue working on that, all right? So I suggest, guys, not missing any classes. If you cannot really join the, the session uh, and participate, you can join the session and you can be as a listener. All right? Yes. But don't, don't leave. Don't uh, join late and don't leave early because there are some of, some of you that join for the session. You might join the session early uh, at 8 o'clock. But you leave the session before nine or nine thirty, and uh, remember, you the 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 minutes the minutes that we count are the only ones. Well, if you are here only half an hour or thirty minutes, that means that only those thirty minutes are going to count. The rest of it, no, it won't. All right. So people work on the platform. Try to increase the percentage of attendance. And uh, let me see. Yeah, only that, only that. And I was telling you that today is the fifteenth class. The fifteenth class. So today we are going to be doing some review. Yes, we're going to review some uh, conversations. We're going to practice the conversations. We're going to practice the vocabulary that we have already seen from unit one and unit number two. Those two, all right? So we're gonna go through or go over all the conversations. We're gonna go over the vocabulary. And at the end, uh, in the last 30 minutes of the session, I'm going to show you the platform and I'm going to be, uh, well, I will be helping you out with the, with the solution of the exercises. Of course, with your help, we're gonna do it together, all right? Yes, as you can see, day 15, uh, Monday, November twentieth. Yes, time is flying, people. We're almost, we're almost, uh, in December. We're about to conclude with this month. Just ten more days, and it's it's over. Ten more days, and the November is over. It's gonna be long gone. Yes, it is. I don't know, extreme, kind of weird, scary, because you know it's going very, very fast, but. It happens. Time is it goes like that sometimes. Yes. 
All right, let me show you the book right now. And this is the first session, or this is the lesson that we studied in the first session. Do you remember the unit about e-commerce? Yes? All right, the first question is, do you remember what e-commerce is or what the E stands for? What is the E in 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 uh in e-commerce? You remember electronic. The e? Exactly, exactly. Electronic, right? Electronic. Yes. Yes. You might you might see the word like with the, with an O, like like sorry, with an I like internet commerce, but it's uh, commonly known as e-commerce, electronic commerce, all right? Yes, that's what it is. It's pretty well, now this is all over the place, right? E-commerce is all over the place, everywhere, in every corner. There are online transactions, online sales, online buys and everything, all of it, yes. And this was the first conversation. Let me see, let me read it to you really fast. And then I'm going to give you the chance, well, we can review the vocabulary and I'm going to give you the chance to practice it. And we will continue with the other ones and so on until we reach the end of the unit number two. Yes. Okay, let me see. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell them well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy you your products 24 seven through an automated platform. And they, also, they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to e-commerce, uh, to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions uh, or not arriving at all, which makes the, con the consumer or which may consu makes consumers disappointed. Yes. Uh, Possible words that you might not remember what they mean, handicrafts. Let me see. This one, a drawbacks. You might not remember what it means. Uh, what else? Maybe storage, I don't know. And though. Mm -hmm. Only those ones. Okay, do you remember what handicrafts are? Tell me. Handicrafts, uh, things made by hand? Things made by hand, exactly, exactly. Things that are made by hand or uh, the word is manualidades, okay? Pretty much, yes. Drawbacks, do you remember this word? Drawbacks? Draw, drawbacks. No? Disadvantages, teacher? Like disadvantage, exactly. Disadvantage, limitation, problem, inconvenience. Yes. You can say that, uh, for example, but are there any inconvenience? Are there any problems? Are there any limitations? Are, are there any, as you said, disadvantages? Yes, that's the word drawbacks, all right? This word is not really, really, well, not many people use it, but if you want to use it, it's cool. It's cool. Cool word, to be honest. Handle. What does handle mean? Do you remember handle? Let's see if I have an example, right? Like control. Yes. Like control, right? Control. Exactly. You're right. That's handle. Yes. Or handle is this thing, you know, this thing. This is a handle, yes. What does this thing do? It controls the whole thing, the whole bottle, right? What you were saying. So handle is control, yes. And storage, you know what storage is? The shipping and storage. No? 
it is a place where you keep things? It's a place where you keep things. Like in your cell phone, it's the the where you uh store your <laughs> store, where you store your applications and every pictures and videos and everything. So that's a storage over here. But in this case, the storage is a physical place where you can keep your stuff. Yes. When you can give your items, your products, or whatever you are selling, you can keep them in your storage. All right. Very good. I need two participants to read or practice the conversation. Guys? I want to try. Okay. Me Eric, too, teacher. And Fabricio, excellent. We're going to do the switching, okay? So once you're done with the reading, switch roles, okay? Perfect. Okay, who starts first? Eric is the first one. Lucas. Okay. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people how, how don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automat automated platform and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But uh, are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. Switch. Okay, yes. switch. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for the handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell the, to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are any many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your product 24-7 through an automated. Auto, automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need, but are there uh, sorry, but are there any drawbacks to drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your product. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make makes customer disappointed. Arriving. Eric, arriving, arriving. Arriving. Exactly. And uh, Fabricio, automated. Auto, you can say auto, automated. But it sounds better to say automated. Auto, made it. Auto, automated. 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 And, and Eric, automated. consumers. <laughs> you say customers. I know they, 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 they look similar, right? Yeah, I say customer too uh, at the beginning. Well, consumer, uh, I, I changed consumer. the... Yes. The, the, the world. Yeah, I know, I know. It happens. Don't worry about it. I it happens to me. I sometimes read customer. I sometimes read consumer because I get confused. Your brain is like like customer, customer, customer. So when we see the word consumer, we we think it's the word customer. Don't worry. It's. it's I was okay. reading. I was reading automated. <laughs> Automatically, exactly. For sure. Like, subconsciously all right yes yes okay thank you both for your participation i would like to have uh, two more readers two more readers to practice Me the too. conversation okay we got Me diego too. and uh who was the other one a, a lady stephanie. Uh, stephanie all right stephanie you are lucas and uh, diego is saul okay. okay my friend and i would like to start an e-commerce website for our 
handicraft. They sell wear at the farmer's market, but we want to sell the people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 20, 24 seven through an automated platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need, but are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. Switch roles. Switch. Okay. Okay. My friend and I, uh, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmers market, but we want to sell the people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products twenty four seven. So, an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to these e-commerce things? Well, Think? you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your product. Then there is a risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all which make consumers disappointed. All right, you guys got it. Thank you for your participation and for reading. That was the first conversation uh, that we practiced in the first session at the very beginning. Yes, we answered the questions already. And uh, let's take a look at this vocabulary, yes. There are five words that we studied, uh, selection, instant gratification, deals, infinite shelves, and brick and mortar store. Those five uh, terms are the ones that we practiced a long time ago. So let me see, what is a selection? Do you remember the selection here over here in this one? Or can you explain this to 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 entire class with your own words? I think that is having a wide range of products from which cos customers can choose. Exactly right. Exactly. Exactly. Having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Now we're using customer, not consumer. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Customer. Well, the difference in people. Customer can be any person. Any person that goes to the store or goes to the online website. But the consumer is the person that, that is, or does, that has already bought your product, and this person is consuming your products. For example, I believe that everybody has gone to Pizza Hut. So you are consumers, not customers. Customer can be any person around, yes, that can go to Pizza Hut. Maybe this person has not, has never eaten pizza before, but we have, so we're consumers. Or uh, another example, there are people that have not worn Nike shoes before. They have never worn Nike shoes before. These people are customers. And people that have uh, worn or used Nike shoes, these people are consumers. For example, I have a couple of, I have a pair of shoes, like three pairs right out, out there that are Nike, so I am a Nike consumer. That is the difference. Let me see another one. Uh, instant gratification. What is this? What is this one? Instant gratification. Instant gratification. What is it? It's the desire to experience fulfillment without delay. Exactly. The desire to experience fulfillment without delay. It's this one right here, right? We got it. That's what it is. Now, this one was the first one. 
And then we have deals, number three, deals. This word deal can be used in many contexts. Let's see what it means in this context. Deals, people? Maybe a traditional business that deals with its customer face-to-face -face in an office, no. No, it's not or that store. No, this is brick and mortar store. Exactly. Yes. Yes. The virtually unlimited extent, no. Uh, okay. The deals is when a website offers products for sales. Yes. yes. You can get good deals, you can get bad deals. Yes. Yeah. All right. A cousin of mine got a very good deal a, a, a month ago or six weeks ago. He bought these products. And uh, this product usually cost $250 or $300. He got it for uh, $150. Just think about it, $150. And it is in very good conditions. He's using it right now, I believe. I'm not in his house, but I believe that he's using it. And uh, it was very cheap. That was a good deal, a very good deal. And uh, he got some, uh, uh, how can I say this? Some other things with with this product. Yes, so it was a very good deal. Infinite shelves, number four, infinite shelves. What about this one? What is it? Or which definition is it? Guys, which one is it? The bird. Virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores. Exactly. The virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores. Yes, that's the infinite. Like there is no there is no uh, ending. Yes. Shelves are are furniture or pieces of wood or things that where we place products. We put them there in order or we just put them there, right? This is the infinite shelves. How can I select this? You know, I'm there you go. Oh. All right, the last one, brick and mortar store. Brick and mortar store. Remember, I've been telling you about the, this 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 word or this term, the brick and mortar store, is a place or a physical place where we can go directly. Yes, or a physical store. It's not online, not online, or it's the traditional store that we all know about, and it's there. It says there, a uh, traditional business that deals with its customers face to face. In an office or store, an office because they might be a sir, it might must be a service or might be a service. In the store because you are getting a product. All right, there you go. Yes, let me see. All right, let's see this one. We got the uh, advantages and disadvantages. Let me see. We're gonna mark the one that is advantage, and we're not going to mark the one that is. A disadvantage. So more reach to customers. There are no geographic limitations. What is that? Something good or something bad? As an advantage or a disadvantage? An advantage. Okay, it's an advantage exactly, right? Yes, it's, it is something good. It is something good, yes. All right. Number two, anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. What is this one? An according, according to the platform, it is a disadvantage. 
disadvantage. Okay, according to the platform, it is an, a disadvantage. Okay. Well, it is. It is. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I don't know how to say this, but but for uh, good people, for good people, having bad people online is bad. Is bad. Yes. Because there are some stores or some businesses online that these businesses or stores or, or, or people online, they are trying to get your money yes. and they're not giving you anything. So, or they are trying to scam, scam you. So it's it's pretty dangerous, all right? That's why it is a disadvantage. Three, customers' loyalty is not always guaranteed. What about this one? Customer loyalty is not, it's not always guaranteed. Disadvantage. I'm sorry? Is disadvantage. It is a disadvantage, exactly, yes. Yes, it is bad. I mean, you're not getting people like, like the same people or it's not a sure thing that you're going to continue getting this customer. Number four, low operational costs and better quality of services. That one, it is an advantage. Number four. Yes. All right. So low operational costs and better quality of services. All right, yes. Number five, easy to start and manage a business. Advantage. All right, advantage. And the last one, there are no sales when the website is down. There that no one sales. is a disadvantage. It's something negative, right? It's a disadvantage. Yes. When the system is down, it's impossible to get into the website and uh, see the products. Yes. Let me just erase this. All right. Let's see this one. Over here, we have more vocabulary. We got five uh, terms five terms, and some other ones over here. What's going on? Okay, we got him. We got the vocabulary. It says platform and commerce, local e-commerce, auctions and bids. Those are the five, ter five terms that we have. Give me, give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, what is platform? What is platform? It is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their website, sales, and operations. Exactly, exactly. It is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their website, sales, and operations. Very good, thank you. Next, we have e-commerce. What about this one, e-commerce? What is it?
Guys, M Commerce. Start electronic commerce conducted by on mobile phones. All right, electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones. It's the second definition. This one. What was the other one? Yes, we can. So the M, the M over here stands for mobile or mobile. You can say mobile or mobile. So the M st uh, stands for mobile, mobile commerce or mobile commerce. Local e-commerce. What about this, this other term? Or the third term, local e-commerce. <clears throat> what is it, guys? A kind of e-commerce focus on the consumers, geographical location. Exactly, exactly. A kind of e-commerce focused on the consumers, geographical location. Thank you, Katia, for your uh for your help. Sorry, allergies. Okay, yes. Uh, the next one is auctions. What is auctions, people? What is auctions? Guys, auction. No. Auctions is a public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. All right. A public sale, a public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. That is the, the option, okay? Or that is an option. Yes. It can be formal or informal. Then we have bids. Okay, we got this one. The, it is the offering of a price, especially at an auction. Yes, that's a bid, right? Yes. Very good. We got it. We got the vocabulary. Let's continue down here. Okay, these are some types of e-commerce. Uh, when a consumer sells to a consumer, when a business sells to a business, when a consumer sells to a business, and when a business sells to a consumer, all right? Yes, all of them exist. Yes, all of them exist. Yeah, that's how they go. But let's let's place them with the definition. Let me get a, yes, over here. The first one. It says there, it refers to business that is conducted between companies ra rather than between a company and individual consumers. What is this one, guys? B2B, business to business. Okay, it's B2B which stands for business to business, okay? Just B2B is fine. We, we get it like that, we get it. All right. The other one is, let me read the definition. Transaction conducted directly between a company and the consumer who are the end users of its products or services. This is the... 
Which ah uh, yes yes B two C right? Thank you, uh, Carla. B two C, which stands for business to consumer, right? Business to consumer B two C. Number three. It is a business model that facilitates an environment, usually online, where customers can trade with each other. What about this one? Guys, what about this one? C to C, consumer to consumer. Okay, C to C, consumer to consumer. The last one, yes, yes. It is when a large number, excuse me, It is when a large number of individuals make their services or products available for purchase for companies seeking preci precisely these types of services or products. What about this one? This one is? C2B. Right, right, exactly, exactly. C2B, excuse me. Consumer to business. That's how it goes, all right? And we got the types of e-commerce right there. Thank you for your, for your participation. How can I erase this? I can't, apparently. All right, let's continue. As you see, we got, we have more things to do. Yes. Already, we got, we, we have a conversation. We have a conversation. It says there, Lucas is telling Saul about his plan to open an e-store e to sell his handicraft. Let's practice the conversation for a couple of minutes. It says there, Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there's this new laptop for only $199. I called the store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that webpage, webpage before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone uh, before we know it. A friend, a friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You don't have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have to look up for, uh, sorry, you have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use that credit card. I don't think we have questions about this vocabulary on, uh, let me see. Maybe this one, the padlock symbol, we know I explained this to you a long time ago. We don't have anything, right? Okay, uh, what is the padlock, guys? Do you remember the padlock symbol? I remember that there's a little symbol at the end of the link, like a uh, lock. At the beginning or at the end? Oh, at the, at the beginning, sorry. I think it's at the beginning, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, it's a symbol of a lock that we have in the link or in the address bar of uh, web pages. It mentions here that if this web page or if a web page does not have this symbol, 
it's something that uh, not not secure. It's not safe to to buy from there or to do things on that web page. All right, that's a bad law. Yes, very good. All right. Uh, I would like to hear or to get to volunteers to read this this conversation or to practice it. Two readers. Me teacher. Me okay, teacher. We got Emerson and who else? Me. Who said me? Wait, Diego. I don't see you. Oh, yeah, I see you now. All right. Emerson and Diego. Emerson, you start. You are Jesse and uh, Diego is Hank. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is a new laptop for only $199. I called the store and, it's, and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that. At that way web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol, symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mention it on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't that that debit cards don't so you better use a credit card okay hank you won't you won't believe this a friend said he bought this excellent deal online i checked i checked it and there is this new laptop for only one hundred ninety nine. It called a store and it is nine hundred there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up. Or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site's secure. You have to look out for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer the protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. All right, all right. I never asked you this. What does you better mean? You better. What is it? It's like, like a suggestion in uh, to use another way to to do things. For example, well, here it says you better use. So it's a, a suggestion or an advice to do a... a uh, to do a good step or to do a good process, I don't know. I think okay. in Spanish it's like mejor, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, grammatically speaking, when we use this you better, actually is not you better. The you better expression, this one over here, uh, it's commonly used in spoken language. The one, the correct one, or the one that we use, the long one is you had better, excuse me. You had I, I, I say that because, for example, in Spanish, I used to say, mejor hasta el cosa. I think that it is similar, right? Or, yeah. tu, nice. or tu mejor deberías tal cosa. Or, exactly. Mejor hasta esto lo otro. Yes. All right. Let me explain this to you. The, the 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 grammar topic or the grammar yeah grammar topic right grammar topic is had better had better. The contracted form is you'd better, and the from the contracted form you'd better is that we have this ending over here this ending uh expression you better 
with no with no contraction or with no d with no hat yes it is correct to use it like that yes it is correct it is correct no problem and uh in this case like you said it means mejor or maybe if you want you can use or you can say más te vale más te vale yes más te vale usar una tarjeta de crédito yes you better use a credit card yes that's how it goes. But um, it's an ad, it's an ad, it's a piece of advice. It's a piece of advice. But when you use the word better or when you use had better, you are implying implying that there will be a consequence or that there will be a problem. So when you use had better, a problem is waiting for you. Okay, that's why it says you better use a credit card, or you will have the problem with the with the over here that we have over here. That's why it's all right, very good. Uh, she. I want to have two more participants, two more readers for this conversation, guys. The stage is yours. Two more participants. Who do I get? Me, teacher. All right, we got you. Me Elizabeth too, teacher. And Elizabeth, and uh, who else? Me, teacher. Okay, yes, Fabricio. Yes, I recognize your voice. Okay, very good. Elizabeth, you're Jesse, and Fabricio is Han. And then you okay. switch roles. Thank you very okay. much. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I take it and there is there is new laptop for only 190 it call a store and it is 900 there i would definitely get it online but i will see i will use my debit card wait a second that sounds suspicious let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there why hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it a friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure you have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar this one doesn't have it experts mentioned on tv that, that credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't so you better use a credit card Controls. Hank, okay, Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is a, this new laptop laptop for only one hundred and ninety nine dollars. I called the store, and it is nine hundred dollars there. I will def definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a look, a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend say you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned it on TV that credit cards offer protection from ident identity identity the the debit card down so you better use a credit card all right thank you both for your participation and it's time to continue re reviewing yes uh well we we dealt with a report speech in the how many forms do we review it affirmative uh imperatives Questions and information questions, right? Yes. Simple present to simple past, past, uh, I mean, simple past to past perfect, and will to good, right? Yes. We did this too. This one is not really a. Uh... All right, we read a passage about. about. Alibaba, right? We read this paragraph. And uh, let's take a look at this vocabulary. 
Okay, we got international trade, tech hub, unprofitable, and commission free. Four terms, four terms, and every term has two definitions, but one of them is the correct one. So what is international trade, guys? Do you remember? What is this? The exchange of capitals, goods, and services across international borders or territories. All right, excellent. The exchange of capital, goods, and services across international borders and territories. Exactly. That's international trade. That's why it is called international. Yes. All right. Very good. And the second one, Tech Hub. What is this? We got two definitions a company expanded through technology and a, com a community that promotes innovation for technology startup, startup companies. What is your definition? A community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Exactly. A community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. You are right. That's the one. Unprofitable is the, is the third word. A business not yielding profit or financial gain and a business or activity yielding profit or financial gain. What is this one? Guys, what about this one? Teacher, the word uh, yielding is it's like uh, produciendo? Yes, producing. Oh, okay. Thank That's you. yielding. So what is unprofitable? Unprofitable is um, a business not yielding profit or fina financial gain. Exactly. A, a business not yielding profit or financial gain. Exactly. Very good. Commission free. A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services and uh, a remuneration for services provided or products sold. What is it? Commission free. Guys, commission free. A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its service. Okay, a form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. All right, all right, very good, very good, nice, nice. Okay, this was our second grammar topic, how to use report speech with imperatives. And uh, do we have more vocabulary? No. There's this other conversation, okay, between Emily and Diego. Let me read this to you, review the vocabulary, and then we're going to have a couple of, of participants to practice. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Well, last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship back the package to get the right items. I ended up being more, sorry, it ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with, it, with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too. But I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. I don't think we have uh, questions about the vocabulary of this, this one. We're good, we're good. Yes. All right, let me have uh, participants, two participants.
me. Okay, Mauricio. Who's reading with Mauricio? Me again, me. teacher. No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mauricio and and me. <laughs> Who said me? Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Mauricio, Mauricio. <laughs> I want to be Emily. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Well, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores. But I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the ground size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of sport city reviews on the site, so I think I made a good shoes cho choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know what sellers could post fake. Uh, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay. Now, I, Emily. Yes. I just yes, ordered sir. a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had the, I had to ship the package back to the to get the right items. I ended I ended up being more it, expensive. It ended up. I made it a ended mistake up. too. Okay. It ended up being more expensive well i read a lot of positive reviews on the site so i think i made a good choice with this choose i read a lot i yes i read a lot a lot of reviews too but i didn't know the sellers could post fake reviews you may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase all right. Thank you both for reading. Remember, in this context, it is not read; it's read and read over here because they are talking about past things. Had is in the past form. Order is past form. Ended is also past form. So we gotta continue with the same pattern. All right. Let me get two more participants, guys. Two more participants to practice the conversation. Me, teacher. Okay, we have Magdiel. All right, Magdiel, thank you. Marilyn, are you available? I don't think so. You have no microphone. Mario? Yes, teacher. Okay, Mario is Emily and uh, Magdiel is Diego. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive it is in store. But I got an excellent deal online. I can't, I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirt, but I got the wrong sign and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get it right items it ended up being more expensive well i read about a lot of post type reviews on the site so i think i made a with this with this choose i read a lot of review too but i didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews you may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. All right. Very good. 
we're gonna continue. Thank you both for your participation here. We got uh, six terms. We have the first one, reliable seller, fake review, ratings, guarantee, faulty, and skeptical. This, this is also on the platform. If you guys remember, if you have worked on the platform, you know that what I'm talking about. So the first one is uh, reliable seller. What is this? What is this? Tell me. A Hello. seller you can trust with your purchases and who is constantly good in delivering quality of products. All right, all right, yes. A seller you can trust with your purchases and who is consistently good in delivering quality of products. Yes. All right, very good, very good. Thank you. What about fake review? What is this one? What is the definition for fake review? Fake review, guys. Well, feedback and comments about a third party seller focuses on the buying experience. No. Um, no. It is not that one. Yes, and yes, yes. Positive and negative feedback about products or service uh, written or paid by brands or sellers. Exactly. Yes. Positive or negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Exactly. Yes. That's the one. That's the one. Teacher. <laughs> I, yes. I have a question about this part because when I was... Uh, I know, I know. I know, the... I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I know, Katy, I know. Yes, on the platform, on the platform, you're going to find a mess. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a total mess on the platform because the, the, the definitions are inverted. They are mixed. Ah. And, uh, for example, we got fake review, but the definition on the platform, the one that the platforms accepts is not the correct one because the correct one is positive and negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by a brand, by a brand or seller. But if we select this option on the platform, it is not correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I reported, I reported this problem like a week ago with administration. I have no idea if they fixed it or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure because I haven't seen the uh, the exercise. Yes, but I I report it because it was it was it was a mistake, a platform mistake. Uh, okay. okay, so uh, <laughs> we we left the, the correct, but the, the answer of the class, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that in a couple of uh, or a few minutes. I'm going to show you the 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 definitions. That the platform takes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. So ratings. What is ratings? Ratings, ratings. What is this one? <clears throat> tell me, tell me. People, go, go. Feedback and comments about a third party seller focus on the buying experience. Exactly. Feedback and comments about a third party seller focused on the buying experience. Then we have guarantee. What about guarantee? Guarantee? A formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to the product or service. Colonel Carmen, también enterados. Muchísimas gracias. 
<laughs> what happened? Mariana? What? <laughs> <laughs> I want my answer. <laughs> 10-4, copiado. <laughs> yeah, it happens, it happens. It happens. At one time, a long, let me tell you this story, funny story. Uh, a long time ago, a couple of, a few months ago, five or six months ago, I was in a session with this group and uh, this, this, this woman had a baby. Well, not a baby, a kid, a child. And uh, the child was screaming, and uh, I muted. I muted the person, so I couldn't hear anything. But then this person unmuted herself, and I could hear anything. And the child was saying bad words. <laughs> was saying bad words. So I think I think all of that is still on YouTube. <laughs> it was funny. It was just saying bad words, and uh, oh, and now. Uh, and she didn't realize of that. Yeah, she didn't realize. And I had to mute her really fast. I had to mute her really fast. It's, it was crazy. All right. So guarantee, we, which one was it? I don't remember which one you said. Uh, oh, yes. A formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to a product or service, right? Faulty. What's faulty, guys? It is working badly or unreliably, unreliably because mm -hmm. of imperfections. That's the right pronunciation, unreliably? Unreliably, yes. Unreliably, unreliably yes. Unreliably, okay. Yes. Okay, working badly or unreliably because of imperfections, flaws. And the last one is skeptical. Skeptical, not easily convinced, having doubts or reservations. Yes. Yes, all right, let me see. We are gonna go stop here with this one. And let me just open the link to this. You got it over here. I can't remember which, which, uh, which lesson it is about this one? Uh, let me look for it. I'm not sure if it is lesson one, or, I mean, uh, task one or task two. So this one, yes, it is this one. As, as Katya was about to say, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't let you talk, <laughs> but I knew you were gonna say that. Yes, I knew. I knew that. So we got the first one, reliable seller. We know. We know that the definition is this one: a seller you can trust with your purchases and who is consistently good in delivering quality of products. But if we go down here, we can, I cannot do that. How many do I have to answer? Three or two. Well, it won't let me it won't let me send it but this one this one it is not correct according to the platform it is not correct. let me select them all take review this this one uh yes positive or negative feedback we think we got it ratings is this one we got a uh, guarantee the last one faulty is the first one skeptical is the third one and uh, let me see if I can send. I cannot send it yet. A neighbor asked me. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, my late. Well, I can. I gotta do all of these things, and this is is a long, a long process there, right there. All right. Uh, but if you if you click on send, it won't. I mean, it will. It will let you send it but not all of them are going to be correct. I think only one is correct. I think only one is correct, but let me show you the definition that we get on the platform. I don't know if this has been say, uh, fixed already. Well, no, it hasn't been fixed. As you can see, the one I selected, this one is correct. 
The second one, fake review, it is not correct. This is one that the correct one, but it's telling me that this one is correct. Not easily convinced. It is not that one. Ratings, it says that it's a form of assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled. Not that one. All right. But you, uh, let me show you, okay? The first one is, uh, it is correct. The second one, you can see it there, right? Is this one not easily convinced? The third one, ratings, is uh, a formal assurance. Guarantee is feedback and comments about third-party seller. No. Oh, this one is correct. Skeptical is positive or negative feedback about products or service, right? Yes. You can see the answers now. These are the answers, even though they are not correct. The answer, even though they are not correct. All right. And down here, we got other examples or answers for this one. My neighbor uh, asked me how many children I had. Where do you work? My neighbor asked me where I worked. When did you move to this city? My neighbor asked when I had moved to this city. When will I receive my furniture? My neighbor asked when I would receive my furniture. All right, that's how it goes. Let me go to this one. And let's review this, the midterm exam. Are we going to do the midterm right now, teacher? We're gonna, Try to solve it. Give me, give me a second. Like, I'm getting some other. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let's see the part. What it has four parts. The part one is about selecting, a, and doing some exercise down here. So over here, we're gonna select or choose if uh, the item or the sentence right here is an advantage or disadvantage. More reach the customers. There, there are not geographic limitations. Okay, we saw this on the book already. What, what was it? Do you remember? What was it? Good or bad? Good. Advantage. Right, advantage, right. Exactly, exactly. That's the first one. Anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. This one is? Disadvantages. A disadvantage, yes. Customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. It is? Disadvantage. A disadvantage, exactly, yes. All right. Then it, says, uh, it says here, rewrite the following sentences using report speech. We got the uh, big online stores say, trusted brands have a str uh, strong reputation. Big, excuse me, big, um, sorry, big online stores said trusted brands have people have a strong okay, reputation. What we, change, what we change here is the verb say to the past form as well as the verb have, it goes like this. So let me read it to you. 
Big online stores say that trusted brands had strong reputation. Specialists say PayPal is more secure than debit cards. Specialists said PayPal is more than the debit cards. So over here, we have to change the verb say to the past form. We already did it, said. And we got to change the verb is to the past form. So it has to be people. Was. Exactly. Let's try. There you go. We got all of it correct. Thank you. That is the first part. Don't forget about it. If you haven't worked on the platform or on the midterm yes, yet, you can do it right after class. The part number two, it says here, uh, international trade. We're going to choose the definition or the right definition to the word. The exchange of capital goods and services across the international borders or, or territories, or the exchange of domestic goods within the boundaries of a country. Okay, which one is it? The first. The first one, right? The exchange of capital goods and services. Tech Hub. What about this one? A company expanded through the through technology or a community that promotes innovation for the technology startup companies. The second one, a community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Exactly, exactly. Thank you. Unprofitable, a business not, not yielding profit or financial gain, or a business or activity yielding profits or financial gain. What can you say? The first one answer. The first one, a business not yielding yes. profit or financial gain. Yes. Then we have uh, convert the direct just no questions to indirect speech statements, report speech. My neighbor David, David asked me, do you live with your family? My boy, David asked me or my neighbor asked me? Neighbor guys ask me. If I lived with my family, if I lived. Okay, if I lived with my family, if I lived with my family, all right? Can I talk to you for a minute? My neighbor asked me if, yes, if, It could if I could talk, talk to him for a minute. Let's try. Well, they are incorrect. <laughs> we don't know why. Yes. Maybe it was David, right? Was it David? The cherry was. Well as this, bueno, uh, well, uh, we can't reach that part uh, yet. Uh, the answer you told me the uh, Friday on Friday night. Do you remember? Yes. Uh -huh. It was it was uh, bad in the platform. Let me see the answers. 
Well, he. <laughs> wow, he. All right, that's the answer, he. Wow, big difference. Look at the answer. <laughs> that's not, that's not. Can you believe it, people? Well, this one is still incorrect. How are you going to how are we going oh, okay. to know when the platform as accept uh he or in this case my neighbor? If I can talk to me, he can talk to me. But I don't know, Mauricio. I don't know, Mauricio. <laughs> I couldn't like tell you, tell you. <laughs> yes. So there you go, guys. Sorry, getting some allergies right now. He asked me if I lived with my family, and he asked me if I could talk to if he could talk to me for a minute. All right, let's see the part number three. I think we still have uh, some time to check part three. This one is more oh easy. Excuse me, let me see. All right. It says there, convert the direct WH questions to indirect speech statements, report speech. My, my new neighbor asked, asked me, how many children do I, sorry, do you have? My new neighbor asked me, guys, How many children I had? I had. How many children I had? Where do you work? My new neighbor asked me. Yes. Hello? My new neighbor asked me where I do, no, where I worked. Exactly, where I worked. Where I worked. You're good. Three. When did you move to the city? My new neighbor. Ask me when when I had oops, moved to the to this city. All right. Quality issues. It says, read the following delivery issues and select whether they are true or false. Quality issues when a product is delivered. True or false? What do you think? False. False, okay. Delivery and logistics. What? True, they are going together. All right, let's check this out. The first one is true. <laughs> All right, battery issues when a product is delivered. But I don't think so. It should be false. But look, we got this one wrong. Let me check why my neighbor asked. I said he otra vez. You know, I think it's me. That be me. In vez de my neighbor, my new neighbor, I said he asked Oops. again. Still incorrect. He, that's not possible. <laughs> that's not possible. That's what I had, as he estaba. My new neighbor.
Ask me how many children. Ah, oh, children. Falta me. Ask no, me. Children. Children. <laughs> my new neighbor. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Aha, uh -huh, where? What? How did I miss that? Okay, now I yeah. It's fine. <laughs> my bad. It is correct now. So let, let's review it. Take a look at it. My new neighbor asked how many children I had. My new neighbor asked where I I worked. And my new neighbor asked where, when, sorry, when I had moved to this city. Part number four, we still have a couple of minutes. Don't worry. Read the following tips related to return policies when shopping online. Decide whether they are good or bad tips. Items bought on sale may be or may have a shorter, sorry, may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. What do you think about this? Items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Teacher, in this case, bought on sale is like a, a, a barata, in oferta. Sorry, no. On sale, you mean? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. It's a good tip. All right. Returns may, may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. That's a good tip, I think. Okay, a good tip, you think, all right. Don't have, sorry, don't save all receipts or other paperwork for the item you, the item that you purchased. Mm -hmm. Bad tip. Bad tip, right? Let's check this out. Uh, it says right here, type and report speech. He works in a bank. She said. She said that he. Well, we don't use that in these cases. He works in a bank, right? And we, we went out for last time. She told me we had gone out last night. Check this out. Okay, she told me things. She told... Es la que le comenté que me, me, me salió mal. Me we had gone out last night. I just I don't know what's up with this one. She told me they had. They had. Okay. Now we went out. Huh? Maybe because uh, the sentence is talking about uh, the she and someone else, but exactly, not exactly. Me. Yes, that's what I think. I thought I thought they were talking about the, themselves. Yes. All right, there you go. Those are the answers for this one. All right. And that was the midterm exam, yes. From tomorrow on, uh, you have to start working on... What is it's loading? From tomorrow on, we're going to be doing this ones. 3.1, right? 3.1. Yes. From tomorrow on, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, let me just give you the last uh, instructions. Tomorrow we're gonna start the fourth, the fourth week. Yes, that means that we're gonna start working on section number three. Yes. Now we're gonna be working on the book every day. Because uh, these uh, previous sessions we had not like really worked on the book. We have been working with extra things, 
or mostly readings. But from tomorrow on, we're gonna continue or start working on the book again. Yes. Do you guys have any questions? Any questions? No, we it's have, okay. Sorry. No? Okay. Let Do me we have to finish time. the midterm tonight? Yes, tonight, tonight. Tonight, we gotta do okay, it today. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, Diego Josue. Present teacher. All right, all right. Uh, Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. All right, right. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric Enrique Reyes. I'm here, present. Yes, Julissa uh, Amilay was not here today. Carla Ivania Cheta. Present teacher. Thank you, Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Um, Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Mag Thank you, Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Thank you, Magdiel. Mario Ernesto Ramirez López. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. And the last one is Raul Edgardo Muñoz del C. Thank you, Raul. All right, all right. Guys, if you have any questions, you can stay. All right, I'm here. If you don't have any questions, no problem, you can leave. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Have a good night. Uh, have a good rest. And well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Be safe. Be safe. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. All right, guys. I uh, want to help you a little bit with the uh, report speech. There are uh, there are some things that we gotta cover or review. I know this topic tends to be difficult to understand, uh, especially because of the complexity of it. Report speech. Well, remember we use it. We use it. We use it to report what another person has said, all right? Or basically we repeat what that person said, 
We repeat it, but we change the grammar structure and we do some grammar changes, right? And uh, we have uh, practiced or dealt with uh, three different tenses. Those are a simple present. Uh, excuse me. Simple present. Uh, we got simple past. Simple past. And the last one is will. These are the three structures that we have practiced or dealt with. Yes. Let me give you an example using simple present. This example is the following. Uh, something easy. I love going out. Simple past. The same example. I loved going out. And uh, with will, I will, I will love going out. These are the direct sentences, all right? The direct sentences. Report speech, also known, also known as indirect speech, is what we're going to do right now. Let me help you out real quick. So these are the examples. It's time to report these examples. If a person says something using simple present, you are going to report that sentence using past, excuse me, simple past. Past. If a person says something using simple, simple past, you're going to report it by using Past perfect. If a person says something using will, you are going to report it using would. By using would, all right? Yes. For example, let me help you out over here. Let me see here. This will be the reported sentence. He said that Excuse me. He loved going out. As you can see, that tense or the structure of the reported sentence, it's in the past form. Why is the verb in the past form? Because what the person or what the third person said, he said it or she said it, well, in this case, it's he. He said it using simple present. I love going out. All right. That's why it goes or we report it using simple past. This one is the most challenging structure. Like when we use simple past, we have to report this sentence in, in uh, using indirect speech in the past perfect structure. And this one is a little challenging, like I said, a little difficult to, to master. He said that, that he, had loved going out. Had is the auxiliary that we use for past perfect. And loved is not the past form. It's the past participle form of the verb love. And this is how it goes. He had loved going out. This one, the structure with will and would is the easiest one. He, excuse me, he said that he would love going out. All right, yes. And this is how report speech goes. Only with simple present, simple past and will. Report speech has uh, many, many, uh, many more structures to deal with. And uh, it also changes when you use uh, negative form or negative statements, just no questions and information questions. So guys, I suggest that you practice more. All right, I know this topic is complex. I've been telling you that it is not really difficult, uh, but complex, it's just complex, all right? Guys, continue with the practice. I will see you next uh, in the next session. 
Have a good night and take care. See you soon.